What is up YouTube? Do you ever wonder how much do software developers really make? I mean, you see in Google.com that software developers can make what, 150,000, 130,000, 120,000, but how much of that is really legitimate and is it really worth it? If you're wondering how much we make as developers, go ahead and I'll see you after the intro. Alright guys, so the truth about software developer salaries. Oh shoot, oh my bad. <laughs> Alright YouTube, so here's the truth. What is the truth behind software developer salaries? And when I talk about software developers, I'm also talking about front-end developers, front-end engineers, back-end developers, back-end engineers, whatever you want to call us or them, we technically really do the exact same thing and just in different ways or different, you know, in software, it could be in phones, it could be in the web app, it could be on iPads, it could be whatever it is, but we're really considered the same thing, to be technically honest, right? To be genuinely honest or whatever, how you say it. Why is this such an important topic? Why do you want to be a software developer? Why are people so intrigued with this industry where you honestly Honestly, don't even need a degree as long as you put in hard work you could get into this industry in the first place right but why are people so intrigued by this is because of the pay when people Google how much developers get paid or even just the lifestyle etc people are so pulled by that thinking that everyone will eventually start making 120 150 thousand dollars a year but to be honest guys that is not true and that's really what I want to focus on right now. So let's go ahead and let's dive into it right now. So let's say a senior software developer in San Francisco, but based on Glassdoor, a senior software developer in San Francisco makes about $120,000, $120,000 a year. Well, technically that's usually what a startup company usually offers to entry developers that come in straight from school or another company when they hire you. And so it's usually around like $150,000 a year. But again, this is just an average. In San Francisco, a senior software developer makes maybe an average around $120,000 a year. Let's go ahead and see what the average developer in San Francisco makes. Makes around, let's see, it says about $131,000 a year. So I mean, that's what a senior software developer in San Francisco usually makes. But let's go ahead and I, I'm talking about San Francisco. The cost of living in San Francisco is honestly pretty insane. Um, to be able to even live, just, just to live a little comfortable in san francisco i used to live in frisco right i used to live in the, in the bay but usually what you need to make to even live comfortable there's 120,000, if not even 130 144,000. so 120,000 dollars a year is honestly barely making it but it's not really enough to even be able to afford your own house if you were single that's not even including if you had a family where i want to look at next um, i actually want to go ahead and look here in Los Angeles is where I live. And let's look at how much a senior software developer in Los Angeles makes. And so here we go. So it looks like a senior software developer, an average salary in LA makes about $119,000 a year. And that's here in LA. And I believe rent's actually a little bit cheaper. But look at this. A senior software developer here in LA or in the OC makes about 120 k a year. If not even more. This is average again. Please note that, you know, just regular front-end developers like me, there have been people who made up to $130,000 a year, $150,000 a year. And they weren't even considered a senior developer, which is insane, right? So again, these are averages. But now what I want to do is let's go ahead and look at what a software developer makes. And a regular software developer in LA, a software developer makes about $100,000 a year. And that is kind of the norm but what I've seen here in the area like because I mean I'm very active in the community here a software developer can make anywhere between 80k to about 100 thousand dollars a year and of course they'll go up from there uh, let's keep going on though so there's a reason why I'm going through all these numbers now you have to understand here in the West Coast salaries are much higher this location is where all the tech companies are at but because of that too depending on where you live what can and will happen is your salary will skyrocket but why though because of the cost of living and so why is this an important topic for me to talk about even before i move on to other cities it's because a lot of people when they look at wow software developer you're a computer engineer you're a software developer web developer you must make a lot of money people they look at it like wow everywhere else in the united states other than uh chicago new york and san francisco and when people they tend to look at salaries they tend to look at our salaries here in california or in new york one thing that they forget to understand is that the reason that the pay is much higher here is because the cost of living is much higher i'm not saying when you make hundred twenty thousand dollars a year you're struggling because you're certainly not depending on your loan depending on your your rent if you bought a house that was way too expensive then that's on you right 
right? But sometimes when people look at these high salaries, like I want to make $100,000 a year, I want to be an entry level developer, and I want my life to change automatically within a year or two, which is very possible, but it's not normal as well. Uh, as a junior developer or software engineer, there have been times when even software engineers here in Orange County or LA area, I've seen people make only 60, 70K a year. Why? Because of their skill set. One thing you have to understand is it's not just about where you can make the most money, and I'll get into that in a second. But let's go ahead and let's continue looking at other cities. Now, after looking at all these prices now let's look at how much a senior developer in Texas makes look at the big difference now the average salary for a senior software developer in Houston Texas look at this man it is $89,892 that's less than the entry-level software developer or web developer honestly in California but why is there such a big difference the big difference is because of the cost of living a house here in California that would cost maybe 1.2, 1.5 million dollars. Probably be just one story and just two or three bedrooms, no air conditioning inside. How much would a house like that cost? 1.2, 1.5 million dollars. And by the way, the house won't even look that nice. It'll look like an average house. But let's say out of the 1.2, 1.5 million dollars you could spend here in California for a house, you move to Texas, a house for only 300, 400, 500 thousand dollars could potentially be three, four times bigger than a house in California. More bedrooms, built in AC, and it's much cheaper. Why? Because of the cost of living. So let's say I lived in San Francisco, I made $120,000 a year. You would still barely have enough to even have fun on the side, right? Depending on where you live too, unless you move out a little bit further away from San Francisco and you commute every day to work. But if you were to live in Texas making $90,000 a year, you are set because rent is so much cheaper. And look at this, now let's look at a regular software developer in Texas. So a regular software developer in Texas makes $76,000 a year, and that is not bad at all when you look at the rent. $76,000 a year, you're probably making about, let's say, $1,800, no, actually, you're probably making $2,000 every two weeks after taxes, which is insane. Here in California, it wouldn't even be close to that, right? So you're making quite a bit after taxes in Texas, and so again, $150,000 a year in San Francisco or $76,000 to $90,000 a year in Texas. Where would you rather live? To be quite honest, if I could, I would rather live in Texas because the, the cost of living compared to the amount you get paid is so much better. People tend to think that it's all about making that much money, but it really depends on where you live. Now, the reason I promote being a software developer, front-end developer, back-end developer so much is that you do get paid more than the average person, even people who have bachelor degrees. I know people who got their masters and I make more them and I didn't even I don't even have school loans I never graduated from college but when I promote becoming a developer a front and back end developer I'm not just talking about just the income of course paid significantly more than the average person more than just looking at hoping that you'll make 150 120 thousand dollars a year really what a developer can get paid the gap between a junior and a senior developer is so big it's not like other industries in the world it's not like when you you become a nurse a nurse starting salary sixty thousand dollars a year if you work more hours you get 175 thousand a year you work two jobs you make 100 120k a year but as a developer yes we all work the same amount of hours around 40 60 hours a week depending on the startup you work out too the gap is so big you can't say for sure you'll get paid this much as a developer even if you lived here in California. So that's one thing I want to get at. Now look at this though. I know software developers, they tend to like look down at self-taught front-end developers, back-end developers often. And I've seen it a lot in the comments and I uh, and in the people DM me, honestly, just to say that you're a self-taught developer, you know you have a degree, you're not a real programmer or anything. But I want there's something I really want to talk about right now. Now my phone's under the sun and might burn out, so I want to make sure I get this done really quick. Now look at this, man. Look at how much like front-end developers, self-taught developers, the pay for them are increasing by so much. Look at this. A front-end developer, not even a senior, in New York City makes $100,000 a year. But how much does a software developer in New York City make an average? 91 k So even just a front-end developer in New York City makes $10,000 more than a software, average software developer. Why? We're self-taught and we have a lot of passion. Not saying people who went to school don't, but we have to prove our passion by being self-taught and learning all these different languages and frameworks, right? Before, it was all about being a back-end developer. It's all about learning back-end languages, but nowadays, we as front-end developers, our demand is blowing up so much. Why? Because yes, the back-end functionality, we're holding databases and moving them from place to place are very important, but making that page run smoothly, making sure that the 
the pages are pleasing to the eye. Make sure everything works functionally, working correctly. Who does that? That is us, and we're in so much demand. Now look at this, Los Angeles. A regular front-end developer makes 93 k a year, an entry front-end developer, depending on the company you work for, if, unless it's a small one, right? And again, front-end developers often are self-taught. Even when you go to companies, suddenly only like 25 to 30% of the people who work at this bank or whatever have a CS degree. The majority of everyone else who's self-taught are like, are the majority at a company. Don't expect to make 120K a year. And just because you make 120, 150K a year does not mean that your life will be better than other people. It's not like that, that is what will make you happy. I think the main point of being a developer more than the money is the fact that you'll be able to live a more comfortable life and the perks of being able to love what you do and be treated well for what you do is insanely amazing and uncomparable to a lot of the industries out there. And that's what I really want to focus on right now, guys. Like really, your pay, what can it depend on? Yes, your location number one, the stacks you know, the experience you have, are you a junior or not? Is a company doing well? And I think when you look for a company, one of the things you have to be able to look for are what yes the, what they're looking for what you can do for them but even for yourself what's important is what can they do for you what can you get out of there will you be able to grow your skills as a developer or will you stay stagnant and not even grow after two or three years will you not grow and will you have lesser opportunities because you're not learning the advanced technologies that are out nowadays and more than that the benefits how are the health benefits the medical benefits the you know dental benefits life insurance or anything like that right when it comes to your 401k bonuses or will your salary gradually increase are you stuck in that salary for as long as you're at that company right there are other things like you know stocks if they offer stocks are the stocks even going to be valuable when they go public or, or is that company even big will that uh, you know do you believe that company will even do well um, there are things like the culture of the company will you fit with that culture do you believe in that culture do you believe in what they're building the purpose of what they're doing B based on that will depend on how much effort and passion you put into that company too at the end of it all it's not just about how much you get paid, but really what you love doing and will you be able to love what you do for a living as well. There are so many things that, that take part into regards to when you join a company, but I think more than anything, one thing to understand is that we are very fortunate to be in an industry where we get to choose the companies we want to work for. We get to be in an industry where we get to choose what benefits we want based on the company that we can, you know, now this is based upon how much you grow your skill level, right? But the fact that we have these opportunities and I could choose this company over this company because this company has better benefits, company B has less benefits, even though company B will pay more, the benefits are more attractive to me because I have a big family and I want to make sure my children and my wife gets the benefits and health that I'm able to take care of their health as well more than just money that comes and goes. I think it's all up to you. At the end of the day, what's most important is that you're happy and you're able to do what you love. If you guys have any other suggestions on why you should work for a company or talking about developer salaries, let me know. But dang, I am sweating. It is really hot. Turn on the AC now. I'm going to die. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you can't like this video, if not, subscribe, man. I'll keep posting content like this. Love you all. This is Krishan, Life for a Developer. And I'm out. Peace. I don't need a hit to believe that I'm living You can lock me up if my tongue keeps slipping I'ma keep spitting up rhymes I'm digging And you can be my fame Don't need a fast car to imagine I'm tripping